Now, the chief saying today in an email release to the media saying there were three key points of why he wanted to terminate those officers. That fires Chief Brian Roach making the decision to recommend the termination of the two officers just two days after being given the decision and findings from IMPD's Firearms Review Board. The chief determining that officers Carrollton Howard and Michael Dennison did not follow IMPD's policy during the incident that led to them shooting and killing Aaron Bailey on June 29th. The chief focusing on three key points detailed in a statement this morning. The first, the chief says that he and the review board believe sufficient reason did not exist to believe that deadly force was necessary to affect the arrest of Mr. Bailey, nor to believe Mr. Bailey posed a threat of serious bodily injury to the officer or any third person. Then going on to say there was a failure by the officers to apply their training regarding high-risk traffic stops, which would have allowed them to better assess the situation. And the final point, we will only use deadly force when necessary to protect the life of a citizen or officer. And when when other options are not reasonably available. The chief went on to say in the statement, failure to apply training designed to provide safety for all involved rises to a level so far removed from the accepted professional practice and community expectation that is severely damages public trust of its police department. So what happens next? Now, the chief himself cannot fire these officers. It's up to the Civilian Police Review Board. They will meet next year and make that final determination. IMPD says the officers will remain suspended until that time without pay. Reporting live tonight at the City County Building, I'm Call 6 Investigates, Paris LaBelle.